Hey everyone, Arlene Caffrey here again with another fab tutorial for you. This one is a more advanced variation of the back arch slide that we did previously. It's more of a pole bridge, so you may be familiar with the idea of bridge or wheel pose from yoga. So this is a similar pose with the pole. It's a really cool shape and it does involve a little bit of shoulder flexibility as well as some strength there in your wrists. So it is more advanced, so practice at your own pace and don't worry if you don't get it straight away. I'm doing the move again in heels, but you can do it in bare feet if you're more comfortable with that. I'm gonna show you some areas where you can make the move a little bit easier to hold and I'll point out some commonly made mistakes that I see with this move too. So let's grab a pole and we'll get started. Before we start this tutorial, I want to start by saying that you should do a really, really good warm up for your wrists in particular before trying this move as well as your back and shoulders. That will help you get a nice, strong and safe bridge. If you haven't seen my tutorial of the basic back arch slide to the floor, I also recommend that you check that out on our blog, which is irishpodanceacademy.com forward slash blog. You can check out that tutorial there as well as previous tutorials. Now for this move, you don't need to have a really super strong bridge on the floor unassisted because the pole is gonna help you with it. However, if you are new to bridges and you're new to backbending, I highly recommend that you try this with an instructor or with somebody who knows what they're doing and knows how to do a bridge. That way they can spot you safely and they can help you with this move. Bridges can be quite challenging. As I said, they can be quite tough on the wrist, so a good warm-up is required, as well as a lot of patience with yourself. So don't worry if you don't get it first time. Personally, I have to work quite hard on this move to get it to looking the way that it looks today. So patience as always, your own pace is the perfect pace. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the same position as the basic back arch slide that I covered previously. I'm on my right hand side, so my hip is in front of the pole resting against it, inside arm is wrapped around. Again, you can start um, by putting the weight down in your heels if you are wearing shoes. I recommend trying it without shoes first unless you're super confident and you can bridge for days in your heels. Heels down for now, we'll talk about ankle extension later and that's something that we can worry about once you've got the move safely first. So I'm going to go down into the basic back arch slide like I did previously, leading with my outside hand. Inside arm push wrap around the pole for support. So leading with my hand and my eyes to start the movement, working down through the spine, working from my head, neck, shoulders, chest, middle back, lower back, etc. I'm going to keep going and stay nice and high. My hand is going to reach down as you can see and touch the floor. Fingers pointing towards my heels. I'm going to push from my chest and shoulders. The arm pushes straight and my hips are pushing forwards and up. Most of the push is coming from your chest, however. You can see by default I'm pointing my ankles here. I'm just going to let my ankles rest on the ground for a while. So for now I'm going to keep on pushing that chest forwards and up making a nice straight line from my shoulder to my wrist. I'll demonstrate on the other side so you can see more clearly because I think my hair is in the way. To get out, I'm going to slowly bend the arm, tuck my chin to my chest, slowly, 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 all the way down, hips coming last. Let me show you on the other side really quickly so you can see what's happening with the arm. Pull, inside arm, wrap around nice and tight. Remember, feet nice and wide for this one and slightly forwards of the pole if you need to. The closer your feet are to the base, the more of a, a tighter bend you're going to get, which can be quite severe if you're not used to back bending. So have them comfortable in front of the pole when you're first starting out. So reaching with the hand, looking all the way back, bending from the back for now. I'm keeping my heels down, I'm not going to worry about extending my ankles just yet. So when hand gets to the floor, I'm going to walk it nice and close to my heels. Watch out for reaching the hand too far forwards. You want to have the hand directly underneath your shoulder. So having a spotter is really crucial for this. It can make your life a lot easier. Once my fingers touch the floor, I'm going to push through that arm, pushing my chest up and the hips push up. If I feel okay, I can lift the inside leg to a single leg bridge, an optional extension. Shoe comes back down. Release the hand and continue the back arch slide as we covered in the previous tutorial. So 
so the leg extension is an optional, more advanced version. I like to lead with my inside leg, that way I've got the balance of my outside arm um, and outside leg and my inside arm put on the pole. However, there is no hard and fast rule. You can do whichever leg you prefer. It's all about shapes really and balance, but do be aware of the balance change once you start to lift one leg. You will have to adjust the other one to compensate for that. Definitely try with a spotter if you're trying it for the first time by yourself. Safety first, kids. So one more time, and I'm gonna talk more about the ankle extension and finishing the move. Of course, there are lots of ways that we can get into this position. Anything that lets you finish in a stronghold grip is totally fine. For example, we have fan kicks, barrel rolls, or we can just walk and pivot into it. There are endless options and I encourage you to invent your own ways of getting to this position. For now, I'm going with my left armpit, feet in front of the pole. I'm going to start with my ankles extended. So you can see that I'm lifting my stiletto points off the floor. If you're in bare feet, you can start with your toes, nice and pointy, heels lifted high off the ground. Nice, pretty relay. So reaching back with the hand, we're going all the way down, reaching towards the floor. Once I get near the ground, I'm going to push my hand further a bit behind me, reaching towards my heels so it's directly in line with my shoulders. From here, I'm lifting my chest, pushing so I've got a nice straight arm. This is your basic bridge pose. If you prefer, you can shift the weight, lift up whichever leg you prefer, leg extension, slowly point the floor back down. Again, notice how I'm pushing through my ankles, I'm still in a nice high relevé. Slowly all the way down <sighs> until I want to come out of the move. Of course, this is a more advanced version that you can try. Once you've mastered the basic bridge with one hand down and both feet down, once you've mastered your single leg, then you can start to worry about ankle extension, really paying attention to the small details in the move. Above all else, making sure that you're pushing through your shoulder and that arm to help get a nice, strong, stable bridge. That's the main thing we want to worry about here. <laughs> good form as always. So good luck with your, your pole bridge, guys. Let me know how you get on. Have fun exploring your own transitions in and out of the move and with the shapes and leg extension that you can make here. If you have any issues with it, feel free to comment in the box below or you can catch me on Instagram at Arlene Caffrey or on the website irishpoleanceacademy.com forward slash blog. Till next time, happy polling!